Hi pals, my name is Mel, or you can call me Milk and welcome back to my channel. If you can hear in my voice, I am sick. Unfortunately, I have COVID. I know. I honestly don't know how because I don't go out and do anything anywhere. So we are quarantining for a while, which is, you know, kind of bad for me, but great for you guys because I can sit here and film all day. <laughs> we are finally here on the last build of Olive. Ah! It's so exciting, but so like bittersweet as well. This little area up here is the last area we have. As you can tell, there's a lot of flowers to be cleaned up, so that's fun. <laughs> But I have a bunch of stuff in my pockets and on the ground. I have an idea of what I want to do here. So first things first, we just need to clean up all of these flowers. So I'm going to unload my pockets. I'm going to get all these flowers out of the way. I'll be right back when we have a blank surface to work with. Before. After. <clears throat> after okay we have got all of the flowers cleaned up i of course as usual left a few here and there that i'm just gonna keep so i think the first thing i'm gonna do is reshape this little pond lake situation because i kind of want to do a bridge over the water like i feel like i haven't done that in a while so i'm gonna reshape that um in some kind of shape <laughs> All right, I think, <clears throat> excuse me. I think this is what I'm gonna go with. First things first, we're gonna create a little like beehive area. For up here, I think I'm gonna use this pathing path or this, these custom designs because I haven't really used them in a while. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. I am going to plant a tree over here. We'll plant him right here. A cedar sapling. We'll also plant a little holly start. And then I think I'm also going to put a wheat field here. Just to really fill in that area. And then on the back here, I'm going to put some barbed wire fencing. Okay. Now, for the bee stand, I'm going to use this covered counter. So, we're just going to throw a glass jar here. Yes, I know this is nuts. I didn't know what else to put. I wanted to get jars that kind of looked like honey, but I don't have the little strawberry jars or whatever. So, this is just how we're going to have to make it work. Um, and then I'm going to put this little candle up there. And then right here, we'll put the beekeeper's hive. I hate to say it, but I kind of wish I had two of these so I could place another one facing forward right here. But I can't tell you how hard it was to get the beehives. Like, it seems like any other time I am getting stung by bees left and right in these trees. And of course, when I want them, they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to do just like a cute little seating area where you can sit and have a coffee, get some fresh honey, and I guess some nuts. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's good for this little section here. Yes, I will move this rock. Oh, money bags. I think I'm gonna put another wheat field right here. Right here, I wanna put the little bunny. Perfect. I'm going to plant some trees down here just to fill it up because it's just such a weird angle, but I don't wanna like mess with this side because it's just gonna make that other side a little too small, so. We're just going to leave it as is and just plant a few trees here and there. I'm going to put some wooden stakes here. Place some mums. I'm going to do a little water spot here. And then I'm going to place a lawn chair like so. We're just going to place just a few more trees on this right side here. Fill in with some bushes and flowers and weeds and whatnot. All right, this area will get pretty filled up, look a lot better whenever all of the bushes and the trees and stuff grow in. And then right here's where the diagonal bridge is gonna be. So I'm gonna do just a teeny tiny little path leading up to here.
All right, everything's pretty set up how I would like it. It's a little too crowded right here, so I'm gonna kick that out of the way and this out of the way. Let's jump over here to the other side and get this side completed. All right, for this area back here, we're just gonna do a small little gardeny farm type deal. And I only have four, so that's how we're gonna do that. And then we're just gonna, since I only have four, we're just gonna, boom, plant a bush at the end. I am going to use another fence. Yes, I know it's a different kind of fence. I just don't care at this point, so <laughs> there's that. I'm gonna try to get a tree over here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna do this here. We're gonna do pumpkins. Then I'm also gonna throw a little line of wheat fields. We're gonna throw a scarecrow here as well. And then some more pumpkins. All right, we got a cute little area here. Let's add some more custom designs, a few more items. I think I'm gonna put a little watering can there, so we'll set that. I'm trying to think of what the best thing to do is to make a way to get up here. I definitely don't wanna like change anything that I have down there. I think the best thing to do would be like right here, put like a permanent ladder maybe. So then behind that house, I'll just have a little path to a permanent ladder to get up here. Right in this area to the left, we're gonna, no surprise, put some more trees. <laughs> All right, I might go get the bridge just so I can know where I can place things and where not. So let me throw these trees in here and then go grab uh, the bridge. Oh, fuck. Sorry in advance, because I know this video is gonna be extremely boring, but I have the free time, so I really just wanna get working on this island because I'm so so excited to start my next island I've s literally so many ideas this s next island that I'm gonna work on I'm actually just going to do it on this island I just can't be bothered to like start all over with new items and I've been kind of collecting items that I'm gonna be using on my next island so I'm gonna like completely flatten this island and take everything down which is going to take so long. I haven't done that before, but just like thinking about all these individual items that I'm placing, it's gonna take so long. So maybe I'll get like halfway done with flattening and be like, okay, I'm not doing this. But as of right now, my plan is to completely flatten this island. Okay, I believe we got everything we need. All right, moment of truth. Can you guess which custom design I'm gonna put here? The wooden stump. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that works. Now we can get up here. I also got a little watering can I'm gonna throw here. And then we're gonna try to get the alignment right on where we're gonna have this bridge. So let's take a look. No shot, we got it perfect on the first try. <sighs> yes, I love that. Okay. Okay, now I got a bit of a idea of where I can plant and put some things. So, custom design over here. Bing. And I'm just gonna th throw these kind of everywhere while I have this out. So, right here I'm gonna put the little iron garden bench and just push it forward one. So you can come sit out and look out. <gasps> That's a cute angle. Okay, I love that. Next to it... I'm gonna plant that little bush. Over here, I'm gonna place a pond stone and just tuck it in the, oh, you. I feel like it can go this way further. Okay, I guess not, that'll do. Here, I will put another bush in that little nook there. And then again, to kind of add a little bit of height and to close this area off, some wooden stakes. Okay, now I'm going to add a path leading from here up to there and then over here. So let's throw the speed, throw the fast motion. What is that called? <sighs> oh my goodness, my brain today. Let's do this. We're going to do a speed build. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty, we've got the path completed. Now that it's completed, I can see that I want another tree right here, I believe. I think right here we'll do the birdhouse. I want to put a little signpost here. And before you say anything, yes, I know this signpost is pointing to show that there's like an orchard. Um, there isn't. <laughs> but I think the sign just looks cute and I wanted it. So let's just pretend it's just showing you that there's a little forest this way. I have a monstera that I never placed anywhere. Let me jump over this way and see what we got. Let's see how it looks like up against this corner. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. All right, I'm going to time travel a few days, let all the trees grow in, get the money paid off of the bridge, and then I will be back for a final little walkthrough of this last area on Olive. Ah! All right, y'all, it's time. I have time traveled. We got the bridge built in. Let's go ahead and look at our final build on Olive. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you liked the little build that we did here. That was the final build on Olive. I will have one more video doing a tour of the entire island so be sure to stick around for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!